What's up guys? We're back at the shop because you know we have to do our 32 breaks. So today is the day. I have the car here. It's up on the lift right now. We've just been waiting for Christian so we can get started. We need someone to pour brake fluid into the reservoir while the other person is opening the little bleeder valves on the actual calipers because there are no working pressure bleeders here, unfortunately. So I have to do the old fashioned way. But um, we're gonna get these brakes all good to go. They're not like not terrible they're really not like i'm stopping i've been driving this car so we're good but it's not the best and it is a little bit squishy so come on let's go handle this just kidding that was a really big one we just need a little one got the funnel and all the fluid up top we have martin inside the car gonna do the vcds on it so that we can go through the system and then everything is ready to go got a damn little pleater pal back there hopefully this time we won't have to flush it a few times and it's good especially when we're watching up here we're not gonna let the actual reservoir get too low that was the problem last time it's not gonna happen again and just like last time i'm gonna go ahead and use this cool little catch pan that catches all of the fluid so that i can put it back into the reservoir so we don't just keep dumping it throwing it away yeah yep No, mine's just fluid. Yeah, mine's just fluid as well. I'm just topping off the reservoir to make sure that we don't run out. You can kind of see the line down there. Oh, okay, close it real quick. Uh, hang on. Close. So we just went through a cycle, and honestly, the brake feels so much stiffer. I know the car's off right now, but it feels a lot stiffer. The VCDS was working pretty nicely. How's it feel? It feels a lot stiffer. Compared to before. Oh my gosh, <laughs> compared to before. I mean, it worked, but like not, yeah. it really wasn't the best. We were risking our lives just a little. Round two. Ready? Yep, we're making Open. Open. Good to go. I'm going ahead and putting the wheels back on. Uh, we're trying to do some crazy uh, all-wheel drive burnouts in the driveway. What? You're going to do what in the driveway? What? I heard I'm going to do crazy all-wheel drive burnouts in the driveway. I don't, I like I I don't know that. who you're talking like to I or that. about. I, I mean, you don't run this car up the stairs. I don't know who, uh, what you heard, but that's not me. Tell him to mind his damn business. Just pulled it out the shop. We're good. These brakes? They feel pretty normal. Um, I honestly don't remember what they felt like before this whole situation transpired, but they definitely feel better than they felt before earlier today. So I think we're good. I think we can do some crazy stuff whenever it snows. Uh, unfortunately, the snow turned to rain and then the rain turned to just wet all over the ground. So no more snow. It's pretty depressing actually. We're back. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Interruption by me. All the stuff came for the GTI that I ordered. So we have a new coolant ball. Unfortunately, the cap on this is blue, but in the picture, it was black. So maybe we'll have to get a black cap, but whatever. At least we have a new, very nice white OEM coolant ball. Um, I meant to order only two coolant flanges. I meant to order this one. No, I'm sorry. This one for that front top uh, coolant flange that is leaking and then this one but unfortunately this is the one that goes on the flywheel side but in the photos it didn't show that they came with this little seal this little like o-ring on the inside for all of them so <laughs> i just ordered i ordered multiple just in case but it's funny because they actually all come with the seal ring so Go figure. It's okay though. They're only a few dollars each. Wasn't a big deal. But now I have a bunch in case they go bad. I have an extra for each one. So we also got um, a little temperature sensor that goes in that top one, like right here, like plugs in. No, no, just kidding. Like right here. But um, yeah, we have all that. And then I got the valve cover gasket and some windshield wipers for the R32 because one of them is blown out. But we're not going to do any of that today. I just wanted to show you. Oh, also got some, got some coolant here. I'm actually going to be 
switching out the door locking modules on both of the rear doors in the R32 because apparently on like Mark IVs for some reason the locks will go bad and they just won't work anymore so like sometimes the doors will lock and then I can't open them at all or they stay unlocked and they don't lock at all it's just the two rear doors that do this um before probably like a year ago this happened to the passenger side door and it just it would just stay locked like you could never get into it so i had to eventually like pry open the door switch the locking module out and it worked um and then it went bad again and i watched this video online where you can like pull apart the module and like take a little motherboard out clean it put it back there were some extra steps that i tried to do but long story short, it didn't work. So I just went ahead and got new ones so that we can use the doors again. It's crazy. Cause like sometimes I can't even open the door from the inside or the outside like at all. So I don't want to do it anymore. I want to put things in my back seats. I want to use them. I want to put groceries back there, whatever I want to put back there. I need the access. So yeah, we're going to switch these out today. It shouldn't take too long, but I'm excited. I'm so excited. I just want, I just want to be able to open the doors whenever like I want to, you know? <laughs> Quick socks flex. Yeah, I know. I know. Sorry, now it's locked. But when I unlock it, the front's open like normal. The back stays locked. And I can't even open it from the inside either. It's like from the handle. Doesn't work. It's this side. And the other rear side. Oh, wow, I am impressed, okay. Usually it's both of them, but I guess today it's only one, but still we're gonna change out both because two days ago it was locked. So, go figure, okay? Also, it's 39 degrees and freezing, so. <laughs> I've been in the backseat of this car in my whole life it's kind of cozy but um i'm trying so honestly i have to go back and forth locking and unlocking and hopefully it decides to unlock one of these times but it's not it's still not unlocking so uh i'm just gonna have to be in here until it does I know it's not good to lock and unlock it like crazy, but what other choice do I have? Okay, Susans, I don't know what else to do. So here we are. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. And eventually it's gonna come up. I know it is. See, like, it wants to. It really wants to. Like, if I pull hard enough. Ooh. Yeah, no, but then she goes right back down. I don't wanna be yanking on the handle. I don't like why I don't like when it does this. I really don't. I might have to have Christian go out on the other side and pull it from there. I guess. Stand by. Stand. By. <laughs> so we were working on this for about a few minutes, just trying to see if it would unlock. It won't. It won't. But this one, you saw, she unlocked. She opened. So I'm gonna switch it out while I have the chance. I don't know if it's possible to. Like, I know I can take the door handle off on the outside at least the cap and maybe like pull the little like latch off without opening the door to get the door to open but um i want to do that just yet because maybe maybe it'll unlock one day randomly and then i can i guess i can fix it then i don't know yeah i don't know uh if you know how to open a locked door you let me know let me know because uh she's being really stubborn really stubborn rude as I'll get out, so. So this is what the new locking module looks like. It's gonna go right here and replace this one. Um, a little bit of news. Just watched the video again and I actually have to take the whole glass out. I totally forgot that I had to do that last time, but you will have to remove the glass out of the door. You know, you think it's gonna start off easy and then it gets really crazy. Um, no, it's really it's really not that bad. It's just kind of time consuming, I guess, and annoying because it's really cold. My hands are cold, glass is cold. Um, let's have a grand old time together. Let's do this, okay? You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> get out of there, get out. Did it. All right. Um, sometimes there's one over here, but I think we're good. 
And then you have to take the handle off and behind it there's bolts that just require like a Phillips screwdriver. It's freaking cold. I'm not gonna lie, I'm freezing. I always get so scared moving the door handle because I don't want to scratch any of my pieces. It's just gonna have to go around. You can do this, you can do this, this is easy. Here, it didn't work. In all of our other Mark IVs, like, in my TDI, I cared, but it already looked like it was chewed on by dogs, so it really wasn't the end of the world if it, like, oh god, it scratched the plastic, but this car, I really care. Slowly but sure. oh, slowly but surely. So really it's just these two little clips that hold it on, and then it will reveal, behind it, two bolts that you have to take out. Um, I don't really want to talk about this. It was supposed to just kind of pop out of there. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Definitely going to need an extension for this. Uh, okay, sorry, she's just being really rude. Okay, you're still being really rude. Um, stop. Uh, you should just be able to... little plastic clips that hold it behind and kind of just pop them out which is kind of scary because it's cold and they might break you can do this you can do this and come up okay just gonna lift it up and over she is off kind of Whew. we're gonna set these aside we're not gonna lose them once you have like the outer door panel disconnected you have to disconnect the handle which is just this little i don't know cable and unplug like the speakers and then we can take off this panel we only have one hairstyle okay because the beanie was suffocating me Making my hair in my face. It's this or nothing. All right, now that I feel normal, let's get back to work. In order to remove this cable for the door handle, you really just have to lift it out of this little clip that it's in, and then also just lift that plastic piece covering the hook up and out of the little carrier that it's in. And then you just unplug the little plugs for the, the tiny little baby speaker right here. Look at her. Now we can move on to the inner door panel which is just these 10 mil bolts all around and then it's like sealed we'll take those bolts off this is the window regulator controls the window movement up and down and it's just i think those are look like t30 let's bet i think it's t30 what do you think it is do you think it's t30 i think i'm right i don't know but then it's just gonna be this plug the plug for the speaker and I think, honestly i don't think there's like anything else and then we'll go ahead and take like the lock out and stuff from here and then we'll take the glass out that'll be a good time yeah moment of truth um this is a t30 i swear <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and lift up on all the edges and then it'll come off watch it doesn't come up <laughs> that's super glued on too surprise in order to get the single bolt that holds the clip that holds the glass we'll roll the window down to about well the clip will line up with this little hole which you pop this little grommet out you can see it and then we can actually pull the glass out and then we can pull this out, or vice versa, I don't remember. But I just plugged this in because I forgot that this was unplugged. So now, now the window will work. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Oh yeah, she's going down. Oh yeah, she is. Oh, oh. Did you hear that? You heard that little breaking noise? I don't know what that was. So yes, I totally could put the door switch to roll on that window over there, but I'm too lazy, so... 
Once it's unplugged, you can just go ahead and wiggle it back and forth. Now that the regulator's off, we can go ahead and just push the glass down so that it lines up this little hole. And you can see right there, that's like a little spreader plug. So I'm about to get like a six mil screw, screw it in, and then I should be able to pop it out and pull it past like the little cable. Can we do it? Yes, easy, <laughs> easy. Now to our handy dandy collection, screws. Um, I don't really know what six mil looks like, but they use a pretty long one and these don't look as long, so. Ooh, tell me, does this look like six mil? Well, I don't want to use that in. Maybe this will do, I don't want it to be too big and break it. it seemed a little big. Hmm. Should we use it anyway, because it's blue? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we will. Just kidding, I found this one, and while it's not as long as I want it, I think it should work. So I've gone ahead and screwed this bolt into the little spreader plug piece in there. And I have to use a vice grip to actually hold this and pull it out, and I just am really scared to do that. Get over here, get over here. Ow. Moment of truth. Okay, after like 30 minutes, I couldn't pull it out on my own. I had to get Christian to do it, but finally pulled that out now i have to go in and push there's a little like plastic ring that goes around this that holds it in so i have to push that ring out and then i can go ahead and pull the glass out and it's dark and freezing just just a reminder update so i just got the ring out i honestly just pushed it really hard with the flathead and it fell back down into the door i can pull it out in just a second but now should be able let's see should lift yeah okay so you can go ahead and pull this out all the way or just tape it to the door, which I think I might do, but I'm gonna set it down. Uh, I feel like we're putting a lot of trust into this tape, but whatever, I guess we're gonna do it. Now we have the glass out, we can go ahead and take these two bolts out. I think it's an M8, but then it's those. We can take the handle off, and then we can finally get, get the new one in. So this is the bracket that holds the door lock assembly. You just have to push those three like plastic bolts through, and then we can actually pull the window bracket off. Once the window frame is out, part of the never ending process, you have to pull this seal back and then lift the tab on this white piece, and it'll actually pull this whole like metal frame piece out. And then we can actually get to what we've been wanting to get to the stupid door lock. Okay, it slides out, well, up and out like this, and now I should be able to take the glass out. Okay, so now that the glass is out, I see what we had to remove it. We need to remove this track right here. All right, bolt is out of here. The door handle is loose. Now it should just come out. Oh, okay, there's the bracket. Let's see, let's see. No. Here we go. Yes, there she is. Wow, we've done it. Looking at the old one and the new one, they are identical, except for this small little wire bracket. Mine does not have that, but I honestly can't remember what this was for, so hopefully it's not a problem. We just have to swap over the cable right here. It's gonna hook in here, and then that cable bracket that goes right into this clip and the plug, but that should be everything. So when you pull the door handle, it makes this piece right here, push this and unlock the door and open it. But I, this one you can hear there's kind of like a lot of clanking when it does that. But the new one, there's like no, there's no clank listen. So I'm really not sure exactly what's going on inside of this, but I think this one should be good to go. cable that actually hooks into the door handle the cable is back on and that should be everything we'll just have to plug it in and mount it to this little white bracket which i'm gonna steal i had to rip apart the entire door for this okay let's put it all back together now 
If I put this all together and this door is locked. <sighs> Okay, this is taking me way freaking longer. But that's because I guess the locking module that I got from Autodoc, um, the little arm that holds the cable that um, kind of controls the door handle was bent, like severely bent. I don't know why. Um, I didn't really notice it when I was comparing them side by side. My B. Um, you're probably gonna tell me, you should check that. Okay, yes, I realize. But, um, yeah, so I had to go inside for like half an hour, try to bend that little arm, and now it's all lined up, so it's all mounted in now. Um, this is the cable for the inside door handle, and then this actually controls, you can hear it, uh, the lock. So uh, whenever you have the window and you lock it, this will pull the little antenna down or... Uh, push it up whatever if you lock or unlock the car so now we have that back in um i just went ahead and pushed the seal in push the little um like window track in and now i can bolt the track up which is just going to be that one 10 mil here i'm gonna tighten the it was a t20 i believe in here um right after i put the door handle and the little lock piece back on um then we could put the glass in watch <laughs> we're gonna put it back in and it's not gonna work that'd be so sad it's okay we're gonna do it this is the time we're doing this this is easy right okay let's get back to work module that I got the new one the arm that holds like the little cable really bent so I just spend like a good amount of time <gasps> this door is unlocked you remember you remember we were gonna wait but it's unlocked okay wow this is great but um whole issue the doorknob wouldn't go in all the way it doesn't sit flush right now because it's not in this little housing inside it's just a plastic piece so i have to actually i think i can't make it sit flat right now so i'm gonna have to i guess pull the lock back out i already bolted it up with the two right here and i put the seal on and like the window um bracket so i want to pull all that off i guess It's day three of the door situation. Um, I really wasn't feeling well yesterday, so I started and then I couldn't get anywhere and then I quit. I know, terrible. Um, but today I'm finishing it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this door being taken apart. It's going to be together now. We're going to be good. Really, the main issue I'm having is like inside, ugh, inside of the door itself, there's like these little latches you can't see them because of course i don't have a light but there's little latches in here that hook on to this like and around this but it's sitting kind of far back and it's really <laughs> it's tedious to pull it out so um i've just been using kind of like needle nose pliers and um flathead screwdrivers really thin ones to try and like pry those latches open so they can go around this because really everything else seems fine like my new locking module she's all good to go i did take it out because I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was like, maybe it's in the way. It's not in the way at all. It's not in the way of this at all, but I took it out. It's fine. I can put it back in. It's just those two M8 bolts on the, on the inside of the door. But this is what we're doing. We're going to do this. This is what we're doing. We're done. 
We're, not, we're done playing around. We're done playing these foo-foo games with this door, okay? She has taken me on a whirlwind ride for too long and she's done. Today, she's getting off that ride because we we will not be dragged around by a door handle, okay? The nerve, it's just what gets me. I don't, so it's kind of funny because I showed you yesterday the other door actually unlocked. Um, <laughs> I think it's seen what's gone on with its sister over there and it's like, no, I'm just, I'm gonna work. We don't need to do that to me. Don't pull me apart because she's good. Like she's working. It's just that other one, it's giving me a run for all my money. You know? <laughs> it's really something else. Guys, <laughs> we did it, okay? Um, I, I'm just shook right now. Let me see if I can show you. There's like little latches in here. It's so hard to see the angle. Okay, there we go. So that tube that has a bunch of threads on it, a door handle like cable goes in there and that's like what allows how far your door handle is able to be pulled like out. But that piece like latches on to, I guess, part of the door assembly that's on the inside of the door. So like there's really no good place to reach it besides this tiny little hole. And I just, I just, I cracked the code. Um, so I think what was wrong was there is a T20 bolt in here in this hole like behind the seal and I had unscrewed it to take like the, the actual like lock out. Um, because this is a rear door, it doesn't have an actual lock. It just has this little like pretend cylinder. But when I unscrewed that bolt, it pushed the housing that's inside the door a little too far. And so that was pushing against the latches. And that's why I wasn't able to like move them or pull them. And it was like, I was like, what the heck is happening? But big brain over here decided, um, why don't we just screw that back in, screw that Torx bit or that Torx bolt back in and try again. And it worked. Lo and behold, I honestly am really sad though, because in this process, I scratched the frick out of my door. I don't know. You could probably see that. That's pretty upsetting. Um, so we did get a casualty, but um, I think we'll be okay. You're probably gonna go ahead and say mean things like, that's an R32 and it's original paint. I know Candace, okay? I know it's original paint. Um, but sometimes mistakes happen. Things don't always go to plan. Even if it's just a door handle, it might ruin your day. It really might ruin your day. Now I have to put everything else back together, which I know how to do, I think. I mean, I watched the video, so <laughs> I kind of know how to do it. But um, yeah, that's really all I needed. That was the only thing that was holding me back, but now it's it's latched. The only thing that you heard that was cracked was this little, the seal that goes around it. Unfortunately, that broke, but um, you know what? It's okay. We take some wins, we take some losses, and we're good. So this, now the door handle sits flush again. I can go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to loosen that bolt in here so I can put this lock back in. But first, first I have to put the actual, the whole reason we took the door apart, I have to put the actual locking mechanism back in the car okay i don't know what's wrong with the old one but like i showed you there's like some slop on it and this one should be good yes i do have to use a zip tie because i broke the little arm on here well broke it it broke itself you know what we're not gonna argue we're not gonna fight about it but uh yeah so this one should be good to go just have to line it up this is the little um cable that i was talking about it will point like directly out and then i can hook it up to the door handle and we'll be good but yeah this is wild. This is wild. So I have the glass just dropped in. I had to actually remove this whole entire, like, I don't know, whatever. It holds the seals, but um, I had to remove this, then slide the glass in, and now I had to, I just got this back in. It's got to slide up, and I have to bolt it in here, and on the bottom, 
The only thing I'm worried about is putting the seal back on. I feel like this is gonna be a nightmare. Um, yeah. All right, we've got the glass in, got the seal back on. I just put the regulator, the window regulator back on. Um, this works. And we just, I just bolted up all of these all around. And now, now I can put the door panel all back on. Like we're this, so in this hole, Wish you could see it, but the clamp that holds the actual window glass. Uh, for Mark Forrest, I guess it's really weird. It's this little like plastic um, spreader clip, and then there's like an inside um, spreader that goes inside that clip, spreads it, and then keeps it tight and holds it. It goes through the clamp and the glass, but uh, it's a nightmare to put back in. So it's in for the most part. Like the clip isn't all the way, it's just that little spreader piece on the inside. I couldn't get all the way through i had to have my boo come help me but yeah we couldn't get it all the way through it is through like a, a good amount so the window does work it goes up and down it's not falling it's not doing anything crazy i just wanted the locks to work i don't know why we're doing all this anyways let's just put it all back together we're done let's just put it back So the window does roll up. Look at her going, going, going. Okay, that's the thing. So when it gets to the top sometimes, it'll, it will like put itself down. Up, oh, okay, we're up. We're just gonna keep it up. I don't, I don't know. You know, I really don't know, but I mean, it works. The window works. Um, all the locks work too. So of course this one, oh, okay. This one now is locked again. So I definitely will have to fix that. <laughs> but um, for now, we did fix this one. The wind, look at that, window's up. So right now it's unlocked. Go ahead and lock it. Okay, did it lock? Okay. We've messed up. Somewhere along this, damn. So the problem before was that it never unlocked, um, but now it doesn't lock. And the car thinks it's locked, the door is not locked. But you know what? That's progress, we can work with that. We can work with that. At least now I can open it, I can use it if I want. She's usable, that's nice. The other one is locked. So, now I have three doors instead of four, but you know what? Hey, it's okay. We are learning and that's cool. That's cool. So I'm going to lock it. She's going to stay unlocked, but you know what? The doors together, I can drive the car. We're good. Um, if you guys know maybe why it's doing that, maybe I didn't line something up. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I've taken the door apart on my old TDI wagon and I did it on the front door of this car, so, and it works great now. So I don't really know what I did on this one. I don't know, the rear door was really different. Um, yeah, it was just really different and I really didn't know what I was doing. I did watch a couple YouTube videos. Obviously they weren't very helpful. Maybe they were, I just, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But if you can give me some pointers, maybe you know why it's doing that, that would be great. Cause I really, if I pull it apart again, which I will have to, I want it to be the last time. Okay, and then we have to go and move over to the other side. So let me know. Help help me out, okay? But hey, I'll see you soon, guys. We're going to be in Florida so, so soon. And all you're going to see is the beach and delicious food, and you're probably going to be jealous. But uh, maybe I'll see you there. I don't know. But I'll see you soon.